Good to see that blue sky in that shot, though. Yeah, that was a definite uh, nice improvement. <laughs> all right, and in Raleigh, Glenwood Avenue has been causing problems for drivers and emergency crews all morning long. Yeah, nonstop rain caused major flooding that made a stretch of the road near Crabtree Valley Mall just impassable. That's where we find CBS North Carolina Steve Sprasia. And Steve, things were so bad the Crabtree Valley Mall actually had to close for the day, right? It did indeed have to close, but you can see that Blue Ridge Road behind me is open once again. The floodwaters which had inundated now receded, but take a look at what it looked like at 6 a.m. Not only was Blue Ridge flooded out, but the nearby parking lot at Crabtree Mall also had several feet of water as Crabtree Creek overran its banks. Now, the Charles Schwab Building and Coastal Federal Savings Building, Credit Union Building, I should say, were islands in the middle of all that water, and early of the this morning, we ran into an employee of Schwab's who had come to try and protect his building from the floodwaters which had risen overnight. I came over here, parked up high, and, and was walking over to see how deep it was, if I could get in to unlock the uh, doors to uh, put the gates in. And I'm looking at the way you're dressed. I'm looking at the way I'm, I'm wearing my hip waders yeah, here. Yeah. You're in shorts yeah. right now. Do you think that you will be able to get through there? No, I, I don't know. I, I, I had a suit on, so I'm, I'm better dressed before than before I had a suit on, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to venture over there. Hopefully, it'll hold off. We'll see. Now, we're talking about floodgates. Yeah. I think if we can show folks, the Coastal Federal Credit Union has a steel kind of... Looks like a plate in front of it, in front of their doors. That's the floodgate you're talking about, right? Right, right. exactly. Our automobiles and vans ended up getting stuck in the flood waters. A lot of vehicles got water under their engine compartments or into their engine compartments, I should say, and ended up stalling out. Many motorists met the wrath of the flood waters. Now, the flood waters are receding, but as you can see behind me, some folks, like the person who was driving this van, they're still sitting here in those floodwaters that are slowly going away. Reporting live, I'm Steve Sprazier, CBS, North Carolina.